In this video we're going to look at how we can fix the perspective in an image which we then map onto a surface in Blender. So I've set up a little bit of a dummy Blender file here of the old guard barracks in Mount Cook. Um, as you can see here in my UV editing I've got the um, photo I just took straight from my um, phone and I've used that as the map for my simple model that I've created here. Now one of the problems with taking images on your phone or a lot of other cameras is that we get this distortion of the perspective where it looks like the building is falling backwards and that's kind of to do with the curvature of the lens on the camera that it just doesn't photograph things straight on. So you can see here as I indicate on the side rather than going up vertically in a straight line which it actually does in real life of course it looks like the building's falling a little bit backwards. Now if we click on the face that I've applied the image to. What I've done is I've mapped pretty accurately to the image. So um, the um, lines up here, the edges which I've modified here are pretty much following the building and then that's reflected over here in the model view which I'll just open up a bit larger so you can see it a little bit better. And it kind of looks alright but when you kind of look at it closely you can see that the um, windows aren't vertical and the door looks like it's falling back a little bit. So although I've mapped it relatively accurately here in the UV editing, because of that distortion which is happening with the image, it doesn't look so good on the main model. So for this video we're just going to look at the strategies we can do to fix the perspective and to do that we need to use Photoshop which will allow me to edit the um, original photo I took on my phone. So I'm just going to open up Photoshop and I've got the image opened up here. So there's a couple of things I'm going to need to do. I'm going to need to use um, guides to give me an idea of what the vertical will look like. So in Photoshop to bring up guides, we just go view and we choose ooh, rulers and <laughs> show how rulers um, early in the morning. So rulers basically show us measurements, but we can also just click in them and drag out guides. And this guide is going to show me exactly what the verticals should look like. And you can see there that the if the building was perfectly photographed straight on, then the um, sides of the walls would actually go up and follow those guidelines. So those guidelines are a way for me to see what's happening. Um, when you are working with guides, they, they're invisible, so when I save the image they won't, won't actually come through on what I've done. So they allow me to um, work confidently with Photoshop that I'm going to create the correct perspective. So the way that we create a correct perspective is using the free transform tool. There's a couple of things I need to do first. If I come over to my layers, um, because my image is a background image, it's got this padlock on it, which means I can't edit it. Now to get around that, I just need to double click on it twice and just change it to layer zero and you'll see the padlock has disappeared, which means I can do the free transform correct. And to do free transform, if you're on a PC, control T. If you're on a Mac, it's command T. And that will open up the free transform tool and we have this kind of bounding box you can see here with these points and, and we can grab on the points and use them like a bounding box that we have inside um, Illustrator or if we hold down the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC we can grab a corner and if we hold it down we can do a thing called a perspective shift so I've just grabbed the corner and hold it in my left mouse. I'm just clicking and dragging. And what I'm trying to do here is just to get my walls of my building to line up perfectly with the guide that I've got. So I'm going to come over here to the left hand side, holding down command on my Mac or control on my PC to make that change. And as I drag it, hopefully what you'll see is that the image is becoming much more vertical. Now don't worry about the space here at the top which is blank. Um, essentially what we're doing is we're just trying to line things up. You'll notice as I moved my um, perspective on the left hand side, 
I've got to do a little bit more modifying to the perspective on the right hand side. So they, they don't necessarily work independently of each other. So I'm just going through to slightly fine tune it. Every time I make a move, I've got to kind of fix it on the other side. It's not looking too bad here. I'll just do a little bit more here, a little bit more here. It's a very, very imprecise um, task. What I, I can also move my guides, of course, to the edges just to make sure that's looking pretty good. So I'm just clicking on them and I don't need to move that one. But that doesn't look too bad. I've, I've kind of um, straightened up the building. Um, looks more realistic. I'm just going to hit the tick up here or press the enter key to make that change take place. Now what this means is if I now go back into Blender with this image and I'm going to save it um, as a unique, unique file version, I can try and do the same kind of mapping and what I should do is I should get a much more realistic view of the building than I did for the previous projection I did. So I'm just going to save this. I'm going to save it as a JPG image. So file save as. I'm working on my desktop. Digital Studio 2 images. Building textures. And I'm not going to use Photoshop for my format. I'm going to use JPG. And click on that. And of course I'm going to give it a... A descriptive name so I don't just look through a list of numbers for the name. So I'm going to call this Mount Cook Barracks and hit save. Um, file options, we'll just make it 10, which is good enough. It'll make it slightly smaller file size. Hit OK. I'm going to go back to Blender to work in Blender. So this is my original image, and you can see what it looks like projected on the um, face here, so I'm just going to reverse my building around, it's a little bit of a backwards building, and I'm going to select this face to work with, so what I need to do is I need to add my image, because I've got my old Mount Cook barracks, so I'm going to add a new material, and I'm going to call this, um, needs to be a, a proper name, so um, Perspective corrected barracks, very long name. And remember, for the material, we're going to go diffuse BSTF and then we're going to click on texture and choose image texture and then click on open and just navigate through to the folder that we're working in. So, images, building textures. And Mount Cook Barracks today 829. I made it and click on open image. And remember, you can go to preview and see what it looks like. So, for all intents and purposes, it looks pretty similar to the previous image. If I hit assign, it's going to be projected on. And you need to remember we need to go through the whole unwrapping. Um, procedure and I'll probably have to rotate the image as well in my UV editing. So I'm going to come over to my UV editing here, right click and unwrap. Actually it's the right way around which makes this really easy. Um, on the other side I had to rotate the image, so I had to choose face and rotate. But in this case I'll just open up the UV editing so it's a little bit bigger so you can see it better. And I just need to be in the vertex mode, click on the points and find the edges of my document and just move them. And all I'm trying to do here is just to get it look like a more normal building. Now there's not going to be a lot of detail on the building, but it should look a lot more convincing. And I might just do the bottom brick here. And the final one, bottom brick here. So that's pretty good. It's not perfect at the bottom because it's not a straight line. So I'll just line that up a little bit better. Do it all by eye. That looks more like it should be. So I'll just reduce the size of my UV editing and we can whip back to have a look at our barracks here. So that looks much better is the barracks compared to the first image. So I've done the perspective correct. 
and you can see there that the door looks normal and the windows look normal if i just scroll around to the other side where we have our other version you can see that things look a little bit skewed and aren't kind of working better so just by using the perspective shift i've actually got quite a convincing old building there i don't have any of the detail or, or um kind of beveling you might do to the windows if you're making a more accurate model but if this was just a model to be used in a you know street scene of a city where there's there's hundreds and hundreds of buildings this is actually quite acceptable to work with so just to repeat the um, process in photoshop we need to use the free transform tool to do the perspective shift and to make the image line up and then we can actually use that image here in blender to create a effective um, image texture of what